what's up guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to do screen replacement in blender okay guys now you've seen that i've tracked the screen of my phone here and we are not doing object tracking or camera tracking in this tutorial but we are doing plain tracker now you can see that i've tracked this one here which is four points now where we'll be working most for this tutorial is the compositing workspace and we're also going to do some root scrubbing of my hand here and also for the markers to erase them off okay the first thing now is to do the plane tracker now press a to select all the tracks now come to solve here you see plane tracks just click on it then create plane track now you can see we have four points which is plane now drag each point to the point of our marker here to fit this screen okay all right when you play this now you see that the plane tracker is working well you can see that they stick on my phone correctly all right the next thing to do is to mask each markers because we are going to clean up the markers in the composite workspace so we have to create a mask for each markers now press tab to go to mask now click here to add new go to your first mask you are raising click on it to center 2d now press shift a then select circle press s to scale down and adjust it slightly like this now we need to parent this mask to the track now press tab again to come to track now click here to select the track press tab again to come to back to mask press a to select all the points now press ctrl p to parent now when you play this down we see that it stick on the marker throughout your shot and this is what we want okay now i'll just do this to the remaining click here to add a new mask click on the marker you are erasing to center to d press shift a to add a mask click circle then press s to scale down adjust it all right now to parent this also go to the mask press tab to come back to track click on the track press tab again to come back to mask then press a to select all the points and press ctrl p to also parent it when you play this also you see that it stick on the marker throughout your shot okay let me quickly just do it to the remaining two because i don't want to waste so much of your time all right guys i'm done masking the remaining track and the next thing to do now is to mask out my hand here and to do this click here to add a new mask now you can rename it this as and all right now to draw a mask press ctrl then click And to close this, let's control C to close it. Now this is a rough mask, so we need to refine this mask. Press A to select all the points, press V and choose single. Now this is facing downward, we need to invert it. Now to do this, come to mask here, then switch direction. Now you can see that this is all right now we can adjust the mask and this mask right here we have to animate it okay this is rough just for this tutorial and to animate this mask we need to turn on the auto keyframe here 
when you click it, the auto keyframe has been turned on and when you just off it it's off and the auto keyframe we add whenever we adjust this mask is we auto add keyframe to it let's come to another frame like this and press a to set it all press g just replace the mask then adjust it like so now when you come back to frame 100 now you see that the mask is there and also yeah now you can see the mask is also there now this is how to animate one and go to another frame press a to select all press g to grab and put it back to position you can rotate it by pressing r then rotate it slightly press g again to make it fit the position then adjust it yourself manually for the scale of this tutorial i'm not going to do this i'm not going to mask the whole frame i'll just do only this one and let's go to the composite all right now you can turn off the auto keyframe all right now that we have done with all our tracking masking now let's go to the compositing click here to come to the compositing workspace all right click on use nodes now we have a backdrop of our composite this is the composite and this is the render layer we are not doing any 3d rendering so we don't need this render layer press x to delete it now we need to add a alpha over press shift a then come to color here then shoot alpha over now we need a viewer press shift a come to output then select viewer now we need our movie clip press shift a come to input here then choose a movie clip all right now we need also to connect this node together like this this will be here and the image output here will be here now we need to click here to load in our image here, our footage okay now we've seen it if you press v you can scale down and press alt v to scale up all right now the first step to do now is to clean off this markers and to do this we are using the technique I used in my previous tutorial now press shift a to also add another alpha over yeah put it down and this image has put again put it here that makes one connection in two alpha over now we need to add our mask press shift a come to input then select mask plug the mask to the factor of this alpha over now we need to choose our mask which is the first mask here you can view the mask like this you can view the mask to know which part of the mask we are working with okay now this is here we are working here now we need to drop a node called translate node when you press shift a come to this dot now select translate put it down here all right we need to offset this value the y and the x value when you offer the x you should look closely to the marker over here like this okay now you can offset the y value a little bit now this is called the coming up so we need to invert it like so you should just be tweaking this value here until you see that this tracker is gone 
increase it a little bit okay now we did see that this track over is gone so we need to feather this edges of this mask out press shift a to add the blur node come to filter then select blur give it a value of 3 the x and y value of 3 3 is fine for you now we also need to do repeat the same workflow we did here to the other track duplicate this movie clip by shift d to duplicate drop it here we also need another alpha over so duplicate it by pressing shift d then put it back in all right now we also need this to the blur and the mask so press shift then place on the both press shift d to duplicate then put it up here now drop the mask here to this alpha over here and drop this the connection from this movie clip here to here all right now we see that we have seen our the marker here we send it back so it's because we are using the same mask so we need to choose the right mask for each all right now you can see that it's gone again so we also need a translate node press shift a distort then choose translate drop it here now let's see the mask we are working with which is the other side here all right so we know we still need to offset this mask by tweaking the y and the x value just tweak it Right now, you see that this marker here is also okay. Gone. I also need to repeat the same steps to the two markers there, and I don't wish too much of your time. And I will get back to you when I am done. All right, guys, I'm done doing the remaining markers. Now you can see that the old marker is gone, and I also repeat the same process I did for these two here. Okay, now we need to bring in our. Our plane tracker. Now to do this, press Shift A, then come to search here and press Track. Now you can see we have plane track deform. Click on it and put it here. Now you can see that everything is gone here. Now remove this image input here, then put it here in this alpha over. Like this. Now we can see that we see our movie clip back, and we still need to review our plane tracker. To do this, click here to select our movie. Now click here to add our camera, and click here again to add the plane track. All right. Now you can see that we have a black background here, which also cover our hand here. So we need to bring back our hand. And to do that, we need to drop another of our just press shift D, put it here, connect this here now, like this. Now press shift A to add the mask, come to input, then select mask, connect this mask node here, and select our hand roto earlier now this is the hand we roto all right all 
okay so we need to bring the input here and connect it here all right now we see that we have only black here and everything is normal so we need to invert this to flip it back so press shift a come to color then select invert put it here now you can see that this is working perfectly so we need to blow this edges of this mask a little bit press shift a come to filter then select a blow node put it here give the value of two for both y and x all right now that we have our blink tracker and we have a mask so we need to put a movie or image anything we're adding on the screen we need to put it now now press if you come to input then select image all right now we need to put our movie or our image here this is an image node but it also works for movie click here to open then put your directory to choose any movie we want to add it Okay, just drag it here then open image now we need to also add a frame here which marks the frame rate of this clip so press press 100 which is the frame rate of this clip and we don't need to offset it just leave it like this just plug the image input here to this image output here now you can see our movie here so what happens here is that you can see that we have our movie here but we don't have the reflection now let me show you something the reflection on the screen right here is not it's as the same with when we do the play tracker and put everything back we are not getting the reflection back so we need the, to get this reflection back and to do this we don't supposed to use an alpha over node we also could use a mix node okay now press shift a come to color then select mix and we have to plug it back the way we do this earlier put this here put this here and the image output put it down here so we know this we don't need this alpha over again so press x to this that now you can see that it's like everything is not normal right now and to bring back all our effects just click here on the mix come down to screen then select screen right now when you look here you see that we have our reflection back and this is the proper way to do screen replacement now you can decrease the value the factor here All right, now you can see it's also dim and you can also increase it but i like the increases just a little bit dim. all right like this this is perfect now you can do any color grade you want to add to your clip and you can do anything you want to put now this is done this is the perfect way to do screen replacement in blender now you can render your footage and everything is done thanks for watching guys and i will see you in my next